Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to train our neural network we have been constructing so far. So in the previous videos we have seen how that, that in this neural network we can achieve what we are looking for. And what we are looking for is to construct a neural network uh, that can solve the AND logical gate problem. Whenever x is 0, 1, the y is equal to 0 or 1, we, we, should, we would like to construct a neural network that can handle this problem. But the problem is that we do not know the correct edge weights, the w1 and the w2, in advance. So first of all, we have to initialize it with a random number. For example, we initialize it with w1 is equal to 2 and w2 is equal to 3. In the, first, in the previous video, we have seen that the right uh, uh, edge weights, although there are several right edge weights, but uh, a, a right edge weight is when w1 is equal to 1.5 and w2 is equal to 1.5. The threshold is equal to 2. So the original uh, truth table and the logical AND table is something like this, as we have seen so far. But if we have these kinds of random weights, our neural networks will produce uh, this table on the left, which is not the AND logical table, because there are when the x is equal to 0, the y is equal to 1, it is going to produce 2, which is uh, equal to or more than the threshold, so our output layer is going to give us 1, which is a bad guess. Whenever the y is equal to 1 and the x is equal to 0, uh, it is going to produce 1 because now the incoming signal will be 3, 3 plus 0, which is 3, and the 3 is greater than the output's neuron threshold, so it's going to produce 1. So it is not going to produce the right and logical table. So we have to train our network to learn how to produce the right values. Uh, so we construct the training data from uh, our AND logical table. We have four XY pairs, as we have seen in the previous uh, uh, folios. So here we have four training data. This X and Y is equal to 0, 0, the 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. This is the training data because we know for sure from our uh, logical AND table that if the x is equal to 0, the y is equal to 0, our neural network should give us 0, and so on. Whenever the x is equal to 1 and the y is equal to 1, our neural network should give us 1. This is the right answer, so we have a table that what can be the values for x and y, and what's the uh, good results for them. And this is what we call the training data. So we have the four pairs with the right answer, and we, we can train our network according to these data. So for example, we have the situation when the x is equal to 0 and the y is equal to 0. The edge weights are w1 is equal to 2, the w2 is equal to 3, these are random edge weights, and we have the thresholds 2. The incoming signal will be 0 times 2 plus 0 times 3, as we have discussed in the previous lectures. It is going to be 0, so it's less than the threshold. The expected uh, value according to the logical table is 0, and we get a 0. So the result is 0, uh, so the error is equal to 0. It is a good answer. Okay. How we calculate the error, it's very important. The simplest algorithm is when we, we uh, think that the error is equal to the right answer, what we know for sure. What we know for sure, we know that when the, when the x is the, the, the table on the right, this is the right answer. When the x is 0, the y is 0, we know that the right answer is 0. When the x is 0, the y is 1, the right answer is 0. So this is what the training data consists of, and the right answer is the output for the x equals 0, for example, y equals 0. So on the right hand side, I mean on the right table, but the rightmost characters are the right answers. 
So how we calculate the error? We, we have the right answer and minus the actual what we get. For example, we may have a guess that uh, our output is going to be 1, as we have seen previously. A better approach would be uh, right answer minus the actual, and we square it. So we run our algorithm until these error terms are becoming very, very small. So we keep updating the edge weights accordingly, like this, like this uh, equation. So the weight is equal to the weight plus the input times the error times the learning rate. The learning rate is smaller than 1, usually. So how it works in practice. For example, if the x-y pair is 1, 0, so the x is equal to 1, the y is equal to 0, the correct answer is 0, according to our truth table. We test it on our network. And there will be probably an error due to the random weights. Why, why, why is there any errors at all? Because we initialize the edge of our feedforward network randomly. So when the x is equal to 1, the y is equal to 0, the incoming signal to the output neuron will be 1 times 2 plus 0 times 3, which is 2. So the expected value according to the logical table is 0, but the result is 1, because it's greater or equal to the threshold. Because the incoming signal is greater or equal to the threshold, yes. So the error, as we have discussed, we use the simplest algorithm, so the error is equal to the right answer, which is the 0, minus the result, what we get, which is 1, and it is going to be minus 1. So we have to update the weights, and in our previous uh, equation we uh, saw that the weight is going to be the weight plus the input times the error times the learning rate. So here the W1 weight is going to be equal to the V1, so we keep updating it, plus 1, Y1, because the input is equal to 1, because the X is equal to 1 times the error, we have calculated the error, it is minus 1, times the learning rate. The learning rate is just a, uh, a number, it is always smaller than 1, usually it is 0 0.001, so it is a very, very large learning rate. But whatever, the learning rate is the parameter that we consider, that we state at the start. And we update the W2 uh, edge weight accordingly, it is going to be W2, plus 0 times y0, because the value of y is equal to 0. So 0 times the error, the error is minus 1, times the learning rate, which is set to be 0.1. And we keep updating here. As you see, because the y is equal to 0, the edge weight for the w2 is going to remain the same. But the w1 is going to decrease, it is going to tend to the value we have seen in the previous one, the 1.5. And if you run our algorithm several times, so, so here we get this solution. And again, we train with the same training data. And we come to the conclusion that, oh, our neural network after one training is not good. We have to train it more. And then we calculate it again, we calculate the error terms, and we keep decreasing or uh, increasing the W1 or the W2 weights until we come to the conclusion that our neural networks works fine. So that's how we train a network. Thanks for watching.